now that we've listened to the story, The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds, and learned a little bit about the artist Piet Mondrian and his composition with red, yellow, blue, and black, it's time to begin our dot for this year. So we are going to be making our dot look like the painting we just saw. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our circle and our pencil. And we are going to break our circle up into squares and rectangles. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is over here on the left side, we're going to draw a straight line down. Now I didn't start in the middle. I wanna make this a little off center. So we got room to add some cool shapes, some squares and rectangles. Now, does my line have to be perfectly straight? No, because we're not using a ruler. We're just gonna be drawing some lines and they don't have to be perfectly straight because they're ish drawings. Okay, so now that I've got this line, I'm gonna come down just a little bit on this line and I'm gonna draw a horizontal line over to the edge. So I've got a vertical line and I've got a horizontal line. Now, from this horizontal line, I'm gonna kinda of go to the middle and I'm gonna draw a vertical line up to the top. So I've got my first square, which isn't a perfect square because this is a circle. So the top of it is rounded, but we're gonna pretend it's a square. So I've got my big vertical my horizontal, and then I got a little vertical. Now on this line that I just drew, I'm gonna come up to the top and I'm gonna draw a horizontal line over. Horizontal line over. Okay, now I'm gonna come back to this horizontal line right here, and I'm gonna come over towards the edge, and I'm gonna draw a vertical line down to the bottom. Now, does yours have to look exactly like mine? No, it doesn't have to look exactly like mine, but we're gonna to try to follow the same steps. But then if they look a little bit different, that's okay. Okay, now off of this vertical line that we just drew down here near the bottom, I'm gonna draw a vertical line over to the edge. So it's already starting to look interesting. We've got some squares and different rectangles, some different shapes going on, making it look interesting. Okay, now down here at the bottom, I'm going to draw a horizontal line from this vertical to this vertical. Oh, and I actually, I actually made that one line up perfectly. I didn't plan on that, but that's okay. And then this horizontal line that I just drew, I'm going to draw a vertical line down somewhere towards you know the middle of my circle just draw a line down to the bottom of my circle so now it looks like i kind of got a big square now is my square perfect are my lines straight no is that okay yes ish drawings that is perfectly fine to have an ish drawing perfectly fine okay now, we're gonna come back over here to this side, this little wedge right here we've got here. And I'm gonna make two horizontal lines going towards the left edge. 
and that's gonna kind of give me kind of like a little rectangle and a little square just to break up this this edge so now I've got some interesting shapes all around the outer circle and now I've got the big square in the middle that I'm going to work on okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I want to come over here on the right side of my square and I'm going to draw another vertical line and that's going to give me a really skinny rectangle And then over here, again, between this vertical line and this one, I'm gonna draw another horizontal line. So take your time. Get your lines drawn. We were just drawing horizontal and vertical lines, just breaking it up into some squares and rectangles. And then we're gonna go back and we're gonna add some color to it. Okay, now before we start coloring, in art, one of the things we always do is we outline with a marker and then we color it in with a crayon. Now, one thing we want to do for this project is we're going to want, I want yours to look more like mine because I used a Sharpie. So I've already got these nice black lines, okay? Yours are done in pencil, so they're not very dark, but that's okay. But what we're gonna do is I wanna outline the whole thing with a black marker. But we know that when we use a yellow marker on top of a black marker, it makes our yellow look kind of greenish gray, right? It really makes the yellow look bad. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna start with the yellow and we're gonna color in the yellow sections first, okay? That's one thing that we're probably gonna do a lot is if we're gonna be outlining with a black, but we're also coloring in with yellow, we'll always start with the yellow first, simply because we don't want to ruin our yellow markers. So I'm gonna get my yellow marker to start with. And I'm gonna do two sections in yellow. I'm gonna start with this little wedge up here at the top and I'm going to outline. Now, I need to be careful because I used a Sharpie, so I don't want to get my yellow in my Sharpie, but you can just go right over your pencil line. And then I don't want to forget to go around the edge of my circle. So I outlined this little wedge up here in yellow. And then I'm going to do this little rectangle over here. Now, if you accidentally do the wrong thing, and say so you outlined this one in yellow. Is that okay? Absolutely, it doesn't matter, okay? Just because I did this one in yellow doesn't mean if you accidentally do this one that it's wrong. Yours is just gonna be different than mine. Yours is gonna be different than everyone else's, and that is okay, okay? So, down on this side, on the left side, I've got three sections, one, two, three. So I'm gonna do the one in the middle I'm gonna start by outlining around the edge and then I gotta be careful around my Sharpie. You guys just go right over your pencil. I'm gonna outline that in yellow. Now, since I'm already doing my yellow, I'm gonna go ahead and snap that cap. Put my yellow marker up and get out my yellow crayon. I'm gonna go ahead and color these in with my yellow crayon just so that step is already done. Now, again, I wanna make sure that my coloring with the crayon is nice and neat in the lines. I wanna stay in the lines. I don't want to scribble. I don't wanna to press too hard, because if I press too hard on my crayon, guess what's gonna to happen to it? It's gonna break. So I wanna color lightly. Fill it in, no white spots. 
And so, so far, it's starting to look pretty good and we're not even done yet. Okay, so once you're done with your yellow crayon, put it up and then you're gonna get your black marker out, okay? Now we're gonna use our black marker. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna outline every single pencil line that we did. So I'm gonna outline over my Sharpie, even though it's already black, I'm just gonna outline it again. And you can tell the difference between my marker and my Sharpie line. And I'm just gonna do each one of these sections in the black. So take a couple minutes, nice and neat, and outline your pencil lines with your black marker. It's gonna make it look really, really cool, just like a Mondrian painting. Very cool dots. Gotta make sure I get all my lines, so I gotta pay really close attention. Okay, I think I got all of mine, so make sure you get all of yours, and when you're done, Always, will you do that marker? Snap that cap. Remember, take care of our supplies. We gotta snap that cap. And then we're gonna put our black marker up. And we're actually gonna color one of these squares in with a black crayon. So get your black crayon. And we're gonna do, I'm gonna do this little wedge down here. So on my right side, I've got these two and I'm gonna do the littlest one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna color that in with my black crayon. Now again, I wanna stay in the lines. I wanna color lightly and I wanna fill the whole space in with color. No white spots. No white spots, want it nice and dark. And I'm only gonna do one black section. That's all I need, it's just one black section. And then once I'm done, I can put my black crayon up and I'm ready to move on to my next color. So, one thing that uh, Mondrian does was he used his primary colors, which we've learned about before. Our primary colors were red, yellow and blue. So we've already used yellow. So now we just need to do the red and the blue. So let's do blue next. Let's get our blue marker out. We've got our blue marker. And we're gonna do this biggest section right down here, this big, big section. And I'm gonna come inside of my black marker line and outline that with a blue marker so I can see my blue marker. So I'm gonna do the big, it's not quite a square, it's actually a rectangle. Do that big one. And then I'm also gonna do this one under my yellow. So I want two sections of blue. I want to outline this section. And go around the edge. And then when I'm done, I make sure I snap that cap. Put my blue marker up. Get out my blue crayon. And now I'm going to color in my two blue sections. Again, stay in the lines, color neatly, don't press too hard. 
no white spaces. Take your time and make these look nice and neat. The neater they are, the cooler they look. So practice neat coloring. It should take you probably a couple minutes to color this big blue section in. If you're taking your time, staying in the lines, pressing lightly, and filling in all of the white spots. Okay, so I've done one black section, two yellow, two blue. The next color I need is going to be red because that's my other primary color, just like Wonder Woman or Superman, primary colors. So my next one is red. I get my red marker <clears throat> and then I'm gonna do this little section below my blue one that I just did, the one on the left. This one's gonna be red. And then I'm gonna do this section over here on the left. This one's gonna be red. So this big section's gonna be red too. Make sure you go around the outside edge of the circle. If you get it on the desk, it's okay. It'll wash off. It's just a marker. And then once you're done with your marker, what do you do? Snap that cap. Put your red marker up and get out your red crayon. And again, we wanna make sure that we're taking our time, staying in the lines, pressing lightly, and covering all of the white spots. Now, this section's pretty big, so it should take you a couple minutes to color it in. Don't try to rush, take your time. We've got plenty of time and I want our dots to look really, really cool. And once you're done with your red crayon, put that up. And then we have our finished dot in the style of Piet Mondrian, who liked working with simple shapes and simple colors. Squares, rectangles, primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. So I hope your dots turned out super cool and that you had fun doing this project. And until next time.